join the community discord discord.gg slash guzu and if you have any clips you want me to to watch or react to any hardcore stuff or wow or just anything in general send it in the the discord we have a little react section and uh, we can watch the clips that you guys have all right let's watch you guys he's finding death glasp oh no man okay if you guys don't know i'm gonna watch the clip without interrupting um, but this mob has a literal eight second stun guys it is a very very scary uh, mob to kill anyone that goes for this at this high level i respect it hats off to you um but yeah you do have a healing pot you have every single cooldown up you should be able to just pop evasion and cleave it down right but let's see guys let's see okay let's see if they get hit by the stun yeah th this person is halfway to level 60 which is oh no it's gonna happen it's the stun. They're stunned. Eight seconds. You can't do anything. Yeah. I think if you do want to do this boss, you need to go in, CC death clasp first, kill the two ads, then go back in afterwards. It, it, it's so difficult. You, you guys couldn't see it because of my cam, right? But... Right up here, there's going to be a little icon soon coming up. That's the stun. Eight seconds. Can't do anything about it. I don't know if it counts as a poison and if a dwarf can stone form it. That I don't know. But, bro, this is just rough, man. You know, it, it is extremely rough. But, holy. Free action potion would be really good. If you have free action potion, that'd be amazing. Oh, you can do it as a dwarf. Oh, shoot. Okay. But regardless, though, that, that's still, like, a very, very, very gnarly boss to kill. This one, if you go for this on hardcore, you are risking your character's life heavily, right? But if you do kill it, it's a cool achievement to get, right? That you've done it. It's a poison icon, so you can most likely stone farm it. Yeah, probably, right? So that's the only way you can really deal with that. Samwise, dude, he's a good-looking guy. First things first. All right, so this guy this had a I just had to get that out of the way. Samwise, what a good-looking guy. But let's see what happens to his character. So he's in a loading screen right now. Don't tell me it's gonna be a flight path death. Oof. There's a couple of Riley clips that perplex me. The guy is a good player, clearly. Oh no. No way. No. Bro. That has to be the most unlucky thing that could ever happen, man. Locking into Teramos being right on you. That, that If you would have waited two seconds with locking in. God, he's good looking. Look at him, guys. I mean, I don't swing that way, but Jesus, he looks good. What a man. Damn, though, Samwise. That is so unlucky, dude. I mean, it, I don't think you can appeal. It's a risk, right? He locked. He, you locked out at a place where there's like a big elite pathing around. You lock in, the elite is there. It's just really unlucky. <laughs> it is very unlucky, man. You couldn't do anything. I, I really don't. He, he popped the nifty stopwatch. The guy is a good player, clearly. And he got dazed immediately. Oh. It, it was just unlucky, man. I mean, <laughs> am I gonna be that guy, guys? Oh gosh, I, I'm. Okay, I just want to preface this by saying he just logged in, and he's probably not ready to be kiting a mob. But if he would have back jumped that first hit, he would have lived. Very clear. He wouldn't have gotten dazed. Yeah, he would have lived, probably. Okay, but who's ready to do that when you lock in? Like, you lock in the first sec- the first second, it like, you get instantly, uh, uh, acroed by a big elite, right? Like, that is so unlucky. Oh, no. No. I know exactly what's gonna happen here before even seeing a, a one more still frame. I'm just gonna let it play, guys, and we'll watch it together. Level 48 warrior in Feral Ass. Going down to turn in their quest. Wait. Oh. 
Oh man. Oh no, dude. That was water. I think it was just enough. Like there was just enough because he was mounted. Right? If he wasn't mounted, maybe, but th this is like the closest you can get to like taking fall damage probably. Or like taking water fall damage. Did you say that's what he get for not using classic water? <laughs> Bro, that is toxic. How dare you use the retail version of the water? That's what you get. <laughs> no, man. Hey, this guy's called Dragossi. The this person's called Dragossi, guys. I have a feeling this person's gonna play absolutely insanely well. D just ignore the title of the video, yeah? So they're fighting in the Sorum Strand. There's like an elite, there's not, not an elite, there's a big mob uh, roaming around that has like two guards. I can't remember the name of it. Wait, you got Magefish Gloves? Is that a man riding a shrimp? What? Oh, a I little was educational in the video. vid for the boys link. I thought it was in the video. <laughs> Alright, let's keep watching. So he, pull, he pulled Rusel. They pulled Rusel, which is like the uh, the big mob you get a kill for the quest, right? Oh no. They don't have a lot of mana though, or health or anything really. Alright. Oh no, they're gonna pull... The pet pulled, I think. Because the pet was... Oh no, he pulled... Oh my god, he didn't zoom out. Oh my god, this is going so south so fast. They don't have feigned death because they're level 30. No mana for wing clips. Oh my god. This just went south so fast. Poor Dragossi, man. All because I looted a blue beauty. It's <laughs> actually true. They got super caught up in looting the item that they stood still, right? So then the mobs came down and then... Oh. No, man. That's rough, though, man. Like, they pulled all the mobs. Was it... Be oh, it was because of that. Yeah, they looted the thing and then, like, sat down and looked at it, like, admiring the new item that they got, and they pulled them up. But playing very zoomed in is scary, though, because you can pull so many mobs you're not supposed to, right?